Greetings to all and welcome back to this series of videos on how to make your life easier, simpler, better and faster in Oracle Apex. Now this video is uh, the continuation and hopefully the end of the last video where we were putting two submission forms in one data page. We assume that you are presented with this screen in Oracle Apex and you can then click on App Builder to retrieve where we left off last time. Our app is CM Sub 2. So let's click on CM Sub 2. And we were on page number 13 where we're putting both the person detail and the staff details. Now, in page number 13, when we ran the page, we, we, we were having this was the result. Upper part was the lecturer detail and down part was the staff details. Now we are going to code, a little bit of code program. We are going to program the create button. In order for us to program the create button, remember we duplicated this uh, part of the form. So we have to cancel whatever code was in this part of the Form. So I'm going to go back to the page and try to retrieve that form. I'm clicking and from here I am going to, please follow with me. I started by clicking on the upper part of the form. Then I'm going up. Once I reach here, I click and I can see an old process that I want to delete first. Let me delete this process. I'm going to go on it again, right click on it, and then delete it. Now the process has been deleted. It was inside processing. So if I go back, let me save. If I go back, if I go back, you'll see that I am more interested on the create in a way that once the create button is clicked, all this data is inserted, this part of the data on the person's table and this other part of the data on the lecturer's table. So let me click on create and go on top again. I'm now on the top of part. And once I'm here, I'm going to go to after submit, right click and then create a process. Now the process has a name. The name is new. Let me go to the right side and uh, specify the code of that process. Yes, it's a PL SQL code. So I'm going to open once I open the code, I open the code here. It's waiting for me to write the code. So this is the code that we wrote initially. So I'm just going to copy it. I explained this code in the last video. So I copied my code. I can go back and uh, paste my code. Page 13, paste the code. The code has been pasted. He's complaining. This is just a space problem. He's also complaining. This is a space problem. From here, we are then able to validate. This is like to check if the code is correct. So I can click on it to validate the code. The validation was successful, which means the code is correct. From here, we say OK, and we will return. You can see the code is now written here. Let's save our work. Our work is being saved. And uh, let us go back to the app, app builder. I'm going to app builder try to go to our app cm sub 2 and run the application 
to test it. Now we are in the application as the admin. We wanted to create a lecturer. So we are going to input the new lecturer person details. Click on it. Now we can input the username. I'm going to call it U US1 username. Full name. I'm going to call it F full one. Full name. Phone number. I'm going to call it four one. Gender. I'm just going to call it G. And then if I am asked to give the title, I will call it Miss. And then the office number, I'll call it OF F F one. Then I can now click on create. The create has been hopefully done. Let us try to go and just have a small pause to check it. So we can now go back and double check if the creation of the records was done. If we click on admin, we go to the lecturers and we try to retrieve the lecturers. You can see that we now have Miss Full 11. This is a lecturer that we created. We can also check it by going. I can close this one and go back to Apex. Once we are in Apex, try to go to the SQL workshop inside the SQL workshop. Look at the object browsers and let's start with the persons. Is the person that we created there is data of the person is showing that we created one person number two and there is us one is the person that we created now is the person appearing in the lecturers let us click on lecturers yes we can see that there's a lecturer id is a miss in this office that was person number two so 